Hey there, Projector. In today's video, I'm sharing with you nine essential keynotes in nine-ish minutes. If you're new to human design, you may not know that this body of work was channeled by a man named Ra Uruhu, and he received this information with a lot of keynotes. So keynotes are special words that are used to describe aspects of your chart. And I think of them like codes. Each keynote has a packet of energetic information that can then be unpacked and understood over time. So this body of knowledge is meant to unfold before your eyes through experimentation and discovery. What makes a projector a projector is that they have an undefined sacral center and no connection between one of the remaining three motor centers and the throat. Now that doesn't have to make any sense to you, but it is what makes a projector the projector and actually leads to the following attributes of the projector. Now only 20% of the population are projectors. So the first two keynotes have to do with the properties of your aura. And the idea is here is that you have an energetic presence that extends out from your body. And this presence has certain properties. And for the projector, those are absorbing and penetrating. Absorbing means that you are taking in information about your environment, the people in the environment, and the overall energy around you through your aura. This can make you very, very intuitive, seeing and feeling and perceiving things that others are not aware of. You know, I'm so in love with Carlo. He's so beautiful. Ah! <laughs> Don't tell anyone, okay? <laughs> The second property is that you have a penetrating aura. So that means that your aura is really designed to focus and in particular to focus on the other. So let's say you go into a room, you see some people, you feel a certain person's energy, um, and then you say something to that person. That observation is gonna go right into that person because you have a penetrating aura. So what you say is not neutral, it's actually going right in to that person. What do you think? Carlo? Car Carlo from work? He's been in a long-term relationship forever. Didn't you know that? Oh. <sighs> this can be incredibly powerful and transformative if you are guiding someone, if you are helping someone along their way and giving them in essential advice as a consultant in a business, making sense of some systems that are off. I mean, there's so many ways that a projector can apply this incredible gift of absorbing and penetrating. However, it's important to use this ability in a discerning way, which is why the strategy for the projector is to wait for the invitation. Waiting for the invitation is about being attuned to the timing and the method and the delivery of your very valuable insight and gifts to others. What are you doing? Oh, I'm going to Toronto. Toronto is that way. What do you mean? When all goes well, you're amazing insight and gifts are well received they are valued the other person transforms or the company transforms or you are exalted for having really saved the day and you experience the signature of success uh, sweetheart there's a much better way to get to toronto i'll happily tell you yeah, would you tell me what it is? You see that car over there? Here are the keys. If you get in and drive that way, it'll take you one and a half hours. Oh. 
Yeah, that does seem like a good idea. Thank you so much. Woohoo! And when this does not go well, when you're not invited, likely people will have quite a bit of resistance to what you see because they're not ready for that penetrating truth or that penetrating gaze of yours. They reject you, they dismiss you, and you feel hurt, unseen, unvalued, which is the not self theme of the projector, bitterness. And I have the cure for cancer. I know exactly how to heal it. Oh, sweetie, now's not the time to be making jokes, okay? No, no, I really mean it. I really know. Oh, I'm sure you do mean it, sweetie. Okay, I gotta go now. Mom, listen to me. Bye-bye. So these are like the bumpers on the road. Bitterness is showing you when you're off course from your design, and success is showing you when you're on course. Another keynote for the projector is recognition. Projectors have an incredible ability to recognize other people, to see who others really are, and just to, in general, see what's what. But recognition is also like the currency of the projector, where when they're receiving a good invit invitation, they're gonna be recognized, they'll, they'll be valued, they'll feel seen, they'll feel like, oh, these people really get who I am and what I'm about. And the Nobel Prize goes to Projector Lady. Oh my goodness, uh, I am deeply touched and overwhelmed. Thank you so much for this Nobel Prize. So a good invitation is gonna really feel very custom tailored and specific for you. Invitations are for the big things in life, such as who you marry, where you live, what kind of career do you have? Once a projector is invited, that's when you want to check in with your authority, your decision-making authority. Speaking of invitations, I would love to hear from you. Let me know in the comments below where you're watching from, your profile, your authority, and where you're at in your journey. Being a non-sacral being, having the undefined sacral center, means that the projector is not a generator. Uh, that's what makes a generator a generator, and 70% of the planet are generators. One of the things that that means is that projectors are incredible at guiding generators. Generators have this life force, this motor that they're here to use and to use well, but they often don't quite know how to use their energy in alignment. And that's where the projector with their absorbing and penetrating focus can really help guide the generator to the best use of their life force. I'll put a link to a video about the generator on the end screen and also below in the description box so that you can learn more about ge generators because chances are you're in love with one, you're working with one, they're all around you. And really it is a great idea for you to learn about how generators work. But also having an undefined sacral center means that the projector can be prone to burnout and prone to overexertion, overdoing it, not being able to tell when they've had enough. So energy management is a huge theme for a projector throughout their life. I do go into greater depth unpacking these keynotes in an amazing series called the Projector Playlist that I did for free here on my channel. I wonder who that is. Oh, hey there, projector. Welcome to the projector playlist. This can absolutely shortcut your process by a lot. So I definitely recommend that you check that out. I will link it here for you. I'll also put the link over here to the generator video and over here to my human design readings. I'm very, very gifted at tuning in to the unique energetic signature of your essential self, which is extremely helpful as projectors are here to really truly know and understand their frequency and then to play that song out into the world. Thank you for being here with me today and I am sending you so much love as you discover your human design.